I'm a skinny guy. So, <laughs> guys, our, our wheel lift is uh, well, uh, 1,400 kilograms or so, 500 pounds, 1,400 kilograms, okay? Our kilos, give or take. Everyone does, look at this, where my foot is. Built in safety. You cannot crush your foot with this. It doesn't go down far enough, so that's a good, a good a thing to point out to the shop owner. There's a safety that we have built into this, okay? Now everybody knows when we balance a car tire, what do we mount it on? A cone, right? Why don't we use a cone with our truck balancer? The weight, guys. The weight. That is the number one biggest selling feature of a hunter balancer, hunter heavy duty balancer, is that we use a collet instead of a cone. Okay? The number one enemy to balancing a heavy-duty tire and wheel is centering. By using a collet like this, when we mount this wheel, we know that this wheel and tire is perfectly centered on the hub. So this will mirror the way this truck will go down the road. Okay? With a car tire, when you set it on a cone and you spin it up, it lifts up on the cone, right? Centers itself. With a truck tire, there's so much more mass, so much more weight to get up on that cone that we go with the collet. When we, we melt the collet down to the thousandths of, of an inch, okay, we have a 219 and 220 millimeter as well as our wagon wheel to do every kind of truck tire out there, all right? Another feature I wanna point out here is this balancer, we call it our Kia to Kenworth. Anyone know what that means? We can do car tires on here too, guys. Five pin adapter. And the pins are actually little cones as well. So that helps the centering. The number one enemy of the heavy duty wheel is the center. We've achieved perfectly, perfectly center wheel with the hub and the mounting pins. Okay, any questions on that, guys? Centering. I've pointed out the wheel lift. Operated a piece of hunter equipment in the past. You can operate this balancer as well. All right. So we'll start off here. I'm gonna have to walk over there. Right. With numbers on it. What does that introduce? Human error. Guys, if we make a mistake when we're measuring the tire. With the hunter balancer, I grab my inner data set arm. My outer data set arm, step on the pedal. Any mistake there? Guys, but just that simple, we know exactly what type of tire is on. It's what we call the correction weight. Anybody know of another balancer in the world that'll give you the correction weight? Every balancer does that, guys. Every balancer tells you how much weight to put on there to fix the imbalance. We do that also. Okay? In 23 seconds, I'm going to get four other pieces of information that nobody else in the world gives you with, a, with their balancer. Okay? Now, this is going to take as long or shorter than every other hunter balancer on the market. Notice it's not spinning very fast. About 100 RPMs. Okay? Revolutions per minute. We know the, the, the weight, the force that it takes to start up, to start the, the wheel spinning is what we measure. Okay? You hear the load lower drop on there? That fast, guys, we have our correction weight. What do we see? Six ounces is six ounces, right? Six ounces is six ounces, right? tire and wheel in the world is egg shaped, right? That's a fact. There are no perfectly round tires anywhere at all. Okay? So by knowing the high spot, we can mark the high spot, and when we mount that tire to the exact same size, we index them 180 degrees from each other. We're going to mount them opposite. That will achieve the optimum roundness of that assembly. Okay? So we give you the high spot. 
Of course, with the push of a button, a servo drive motor, we can mark with the laser the correction weight. Why is using this laser important? Why does that separate us from the rest of the market? With this laser, guys, 12 o'clock is 12 o'clock. If I'm standing in front of the balancer looking down, my 12 o'clock is different here than if I'm standing here. With the laser, we guarantee perfect weight placement. That is our run out. Does everybody understand what run out is? And this is simple. Run out or out of roundness is the number one enemy to tire wear and truck tires. Right? Balancing. Balancing wise. Of course, alignment is important as well. Guys, we know right now there are 70. 0.070 thousandths of an inch of run out. Okay, the computer's asking me, do I want a quick match a tire to the rim? Everybody understands what that is? With the Hunter Bouncer, I'll just say yes. I'll grab my two data set arms again. And if we can make two revolutions with the exact same results, Where this balancer sets us apart in the market, guys, is we're giving your customer's technician experience. He's in the business of balancing tires. That's his reputation, right? That's what they care about, giving a good balance. Well, I can tell you right now what the runout we have now is and what the runout will be if we were to match the high spot and the low spot. Put the button here. I marked the high spot of my tire. The laser on the other side. I marked the high spot of my tire. Push the button again. I marked the low spot on my rim. Then with my Hunter tire changer, I can rotate the two, match those two points to achieve optimum roundness. That's essentially what we're going for. Okay? Now, in the United States, guys, there's, a, there's a, a theory of if my truck is vibrating, I only balance the two tires in the front, the steer tires. Is that a smart thing to do? Do the tires in the back cost money? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Do they have tire wear when they're bouncing down the road? Of course. If you have a trailer, you may not feel that as much as if you take the trailer off. Now you're... You can feel the back of the tire. So what this balancer can do is turn a two-tire job into a ten-tire job on a three-axle truck, right? 